Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript series. This video, we're gonna be talking about a cool method called has own property. Now, it'd be a good recommendation to check out the previous video because we talked about how to check an object for a particular property such as name. And now we're going to be talking about a method that's going to do something very similar, but a little bit different. Now, before we get started, please check out our sponsor. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of the second half here and we're going to say teacher.hasOwnProperty. And inside of the parentheses, we're going to put the property we're looking for, in this case, name. Doing a refresh, we still get true here. Expanding the object, you can see the name property is right there. Now the difference here is has own property will only check directly on the object and will not check the prototype. So scrolling up, you can see, for example, we have this active inside of the prototype, but inside a teacher, we do not have that active property. So if we put active in here, when we do a refresh, we get false. But if we do it the way we had it in the previous video, such as this not equal to undefined, teacher.active, do a refresh, we still get true. So this one will check the prototype, and so will the other way, which looked like this. And these uh, strings are a little bit out of date, but oh well, we'll just get rid of name. There we go. So all we do is put active inside of quotes, and then say in teacher, do a refresh, and you can see both of the, the old ways return true, but has own property returns false. So that's how the has own property method works. Hopefully that was helpful. And be sure to check out the next video because we're going to be talking about lots of cool stuff, specifically how to list the properties of an object. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe.